Hello everybody, Lego with you here. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, uh, get your Land Land Scube to stop popping. So, if you know uh, the Land Land Scube, uh, they are pretty, the tensions are pretty tight, and even if you can get these center caps off, which are glued on really well, uh, you probably can't tighten it very much. So, I'm going to show you a way that you can uh, have it to yeah, decrease the popping on it. So, this uh, idea is going to be uh, using Legos to make torpedoes. Basically what a torpedo is, if I uh, grab a Zanji right here, uh, these pieces, have, the edges have torpedoes in them, these little green things, and you can see they lock underneath the corner piece, like this, and so it makes it harder for this uh, edge piece to pop out. So, that's what we're going to be doing for this cube today. So, uh, we're going to actually be using Legos to make the torpedoes. Uh, for each torpedo, which you'll need six of them for all six pieces, you'll need one of each type of these Legos. I believe you can also use a, just a flat uh, one by one piece for this one. But yeah, so there's that one, uh, just a flat piece, and then two of these like triangle pieces. Uh, so, uh, I guess let's begin. Uh, by the way, the idea for making Lego torpedoes for this cube well, it wasn't my idea, it was actually. I believe the first person was X Town Cuber. Uh, he had a video. I'll link that in the description, so you can see that as well. So I'm just gonna make a tutorial for it. So the first thing you're gonna do, since you're gonna be using super glue, is you're gonna set down something uh, like a paper towel or a piece of paper or just a Kleenex or something to make it so the super glue doesn't get on your table. Okay, I'm just gonna be using this Kleenex just to make it easy. So, the first thing we're going to do is uh, oops, uh, grab this little green, uh, or doesn't matter what color it is, this little round piece and this flat piece, and then just grab your super glue, and it works better if you have a brush, uh, super glue with a brush, but it will do too. Uh, and then just put some super glue in there, just like a puddle of super glue. We're going to need a lot of super glue to keep all these pieces together. Otherwise, they'll pop out. Just set that down and then get the other piece. And just set it on top and then just pop it in like that. And then you can wait a couple seconds for that to dry. And then you can flip it back over. And then you can grab the piece again and just run some super glue along here. Uh, you're going to want to do a big dot of it uh, just so it stay together again. And then just put those pieces together, and then, oops, set it down on a flat surface, and I'm going to look above it and make sure they're even, yeah, there we go, and then just push them together, kind of hold it there for like 10 seconds, and, yep, that, I think that's good. <laughs> Looks like we got the Kleenex kind of glued to it a little bit, <laughs> that's no problem though. And then... We do the same thing on the other side, so just dab some super glue on here, just like that, and then put the other piece up ne uh, next to it, oops, and just push, make sure it's level and even and everything, push them together, make sure it's not being glued to the table, and there we go. So, this is the thing that you're going to make. Uh, I guess if you want, you can also have like a Lego a Lego board on the bottom and then just snap it on while you're gluing them, just to make sure it's perfectly straight. But, uh, that also comes with the risk of gluing it to the board. So yeah. Then once you, uh, get the, you'll get a scube piece. This is a, uh, land land scube. And then, I'll just, uh, change the angle right here. Whoop. Uh, so... We get some super glue, just dab it on all the way along there. You're gonna want a big puddle of it. And then just I'm gonna look above the camera and just stick that on right in the middle of everything. Um, evening it out, making sure it's the same distance from the screws and centered. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but it should be pretty close. Oh uh, yeah, it's a bit lopsided. Well, too late now. <laughs> so, you're going to want to wait for 
few minutes for that puddle of super glue to dry. You can see that's pretty good, uh, but it could be a bit straighter. So yeah, just wait a couple minutes for that uh, big pool of super glue to dry. And if it, it's not sticking out, if you can't see it sticking out at the bottom of there, you may even want to put a bit more along there. Because we're going to need a lot of super glue to keep uh, this in. So just wait for it to dry now. Of course, while you're waiting for it to dry, you can also do all of the other pieces. Uh, but I already have all those done, so uh, let's get going. Uh, you're going to need to do this on every single piece, so you need six. There we go. Magic. All done. And so, uh, once they are all dry, you may want to check on it. This is what it will look like when it's dried. Uh, mine has a little, like, whiteness, but if I stick my finger on there, it doesn't go in or anything. And it doesn't stick to my skin. Uh, yeah. Like that on all of them. So, then it's time to assemble this cube. So, you basically do it the same way as you normally do. Uh, if you don't know how to uh, assemble it, you can watch my tutorial. So, let's just put all the pieces in. So again, this is going to be locking underneath the corner pieces, so uh, it may be a bit harder to get uh, them in than normally. So put that in. Uh, grab that. Put it, that in. As you can see, the Legos down there, they go over the corner pieces just enough to make it so they uh, won't pop out. So now, what we're going to do is put this piece in, uh, and then put the corner piece in. You can, again, see all these uh, pieces that are interlocking together. Uh, it may, again, it may be a bit more difficult than normal to assemble it. So, once you got that piece in, this piece. Uh, then you can just put in the last two corners there and there and then the very last piece you can put that in just like that you may have actually have to twist it a little bit to get it in just kind of manipulate it around and there we go uh, so, here is this cube. Uh, you may notice it's a bit louder than normal. Uh, the clicking mechanism is pretty loud normally, but it's, yeah, I can definitely notice the pieces may be rubbing against each other a little bit, but that will probably quiet down as we break it in more. So, yeah, that's basically just about it. Uh, if you hear a piece in the middle of it, uh, you're going to want to open it back up and super glue the piece back in because uh, from the video that I saw this from it does uh, come apart uh, it did came, come apart a lot when he first did it so yeah that's basically it uh, hope it helps you uh, I'll see you next time bye